Hello, hello everybody, it's your old pal Tuna here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are taking another trip, believe it or not. We are going to be heading down to Seattle, Washington once again, but we are not doing anything similar to Emerald City Comic Con. We are doing the Small Art Market. This is a grassroots community-driven event that is specifically for small artists and our giving us an opportunity to sell our stuff. The theme for this month's market was stickers and I make a very large amount of stickers so I thought it would be perfect. So I took the bus down, spent the evening before on Friday night having a little fun to myself and getting emotionally prepared for the art market the following day. Pretty low key event, but I was cautiously optimistic for the results of the weekend. Let's get right into it. Shall we? <laughs> snuck off to the corner to vlog in private so I don't bother all the good people with my talking to myself. You know, here's the thing. Vlogging becomes easier the more that you do it, but you have to practice every angle of it. Talking to yourself in the camera is only one part of it. You have to start learning to do it when other people know that you're doing it. It's like taking a selfie. It's always weird, but okay. I'm in the back of the plant shop where we are having the art mart. So this one I found out about through people that I knew down in Seattle who were putting the show on were talking about it on Instagram and when I saw that they were doing applications for a sticker themed show I thought if I don't belong there I don't belong anywhere so I threw in an application they accepted me and I'm down for the weekend I have basically no expectations of how this is going to go uh, the weather is a little bit unfortunate today so you know it's very possible that we will not get the walk-in clientele of our dreams but we all post about it on social media. You never know what could happen. And yeah, I already had a good time last night, so let's go. And I'm gonna get some work done and draw your suggestions that you left uh, last weekend. So, which is actually this weekend, currently. 
but not that you're seeing it. It's next weekend for you. But we'll check in later today. I'll try and get some clips. We'll see how it goes and I will let you know. I will let you know. Yes, I will. Hello everyone, end of Saturday. Um, first of all, I'm very sorry if you can hear traffic noises. My Airbnb is literally right next to the freeway and I'm like fully burritoed in my blanket because I thought that the weather was going to be good this weekend. It's middling and I did not bring any warm clothes. So we're making do. Today was nice though, like I mentioned at the beginning of the day that I had no expectations I think realistic and realistically my expectations were actually very low and today did exceed those expectations albeit not not enough to be excited about it so i really enjoyed spending time with the other vendors there and the venue itself is very relaxing because it's a plant store there was like really funky nice kind of music playing it was warm obviously because the plants need warmth and so even though i didn't have the proper attire for the outside it was all good on the inside to put things in numbers for you today i made like maybe 275 dollars which is um exceedingly low like if you remember back i did a craft fair in uh december where it was supposed to be two days and i ended up leaving after the first day that was about the amount of money that i made then but the thing is is that Tomorrow, the expectation is actually that it will be better, which is really unusual. Generally, the Saturday is always the busier day and the Sunday is the slower day. But honestly, like every every penny is great. Um, I'm, I said from the get go that I was just coming down to have a good time and I definitely am. And I was so stoked on that drawing that I did. So one of the things that I needed to do um, for this month is to do the print for the Big Lunch Club. And I had had a different idea back at the start of the month um, that I had attempted before I left for this trip because like I was gonna make a video about it, it was gonna be the video for last weekend, yada yada. I didn't like how it was turning out though, so I had to pivot. Wasn't really sure how I was going to pivot, but I did know that I really wanted to incorporate multimedia in the piece because the whole theme for this month is art supplies and cats. So, you know, I didn't wanna do a digital print for something like that, I really wanted it to be like hands-on. And I had the thought to combine my cartoony style with the more realistic style that I do for my pet portraits. Either way, that's a problem for next week, Tuna. All that current Tuna needs to worry about is that her door dash pasta bolognese arrives. <laughs> and I am enjoying a glass of wine. Uh, I went hard enough last night. I didn't actually take any footage at the bar, but I went to a drag show at this cute bar. Um, the drag was okay. It was my first time seeing it live <laughs> and I like I'm in the US, right? And I had Canadian cash only. And I was asking the people that I made friends with. I was like, do you think she'll be offended if I tip her with Canadian? And they're like, no, do it. And so I went up with a $5 bill and, and she took it from me while she was dancing. And then she kind of like felt that it was weird because our money is like made of plastic. And she looks at it and then she kind of looks at me and she sort of shrugged. And I was like, it's money. Like, do whatever you want with it. Come on up to Vancouver. We love it. Uh, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun and I met some cool people and just had a grand old time. Anyway, that's enough rambling from me. That pasta's got to be here any minute. I'm going to watch some Stardew Valley YouTube videos and see you guys in the morning. For real.
So right after the show ended on Sunday, I had to basically beeline to catch my bus back to Vancouver, which I had planned to do uh, that evening to avoid spending um, money on another Airbnb night. So I didn't end up really getting any footage after that point. I intended to, but then while I was on the four hour bus ride back to Vancouver, my bus driver decided that we were best friends and he needed to tell me his whole entire life story on the bus ride. Uh, it was very fun and entertaining, but distracting. So anyway, as you can tell from the footage here, I am finally getting around to working on your requests that you kindly left me on the community tab to entertain me while I was gone. Uh, I got the sketches done in my sketchbook, but I wanted to finish the pieces digitally. So here I am. This is just a screen recording of me working in Clip Studio Paint on my iPad Pro. And again, thank you. I do think I did all of the requests. So next time, Keep your eyes peeled, I follow through. <laughs> so some final thoughts about Small Art Market. Um, I really did have a spectacularly entertaining time. I ended up making about the same amount on Sunday as I did on Saturday. So overall that did pay for all of my travel expenses plus a little more. So I feel like it was, it was pretty even by the end of the weekend um, in terms of cost for food and travel and blah 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 which is a w in my book honestly like i really wasn't expecting to make anything because the thing is when it comes to these sorts of markets this was only the second one that they were that they had run so a lot of it is word of mouth like there it's just kind of like beginning it's very fresh and there's a lot of reasons to go to these sorts of events that aren't just about making a profit and making sales so my intention was not only to have a good time but to do some networking to meet some people it's very handy for me to have friends down in seattle since i do travel down there so often and i basically got to take a paid holiday um especially since i got friday night to myself and then Saturday night I like passed out after eating the pasta bolognese, um, but yeah. Markets are also really good for exposing your work to a new audience, though a lot of the people who did come to the market were like, hey, I saw you post about this on Instagram or on Twitter, or are you talking about it on YouTube? So thank you guys to everyone who came down in Seattle to come say hi or to buy something. It's really, like I've said, I think in the last like VanCaf vlog, these sorts of events are kind of what makes what makes doing my job so fun. So hopefully I'll see you at the next one. Stay tuned, Edmonton, I'm coming for you. But that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. If you did make it to the end of this one, be sure to subscribe, be sure to like the video, and yeah, leave me a comment. I would love to know which of these little doodle requests is your favorite, and see you next weekend. Bye guys, bye.